Hey, what's going on guys? This is Lucy Goosey or Kyle and welcome back to some more Hero Craft here on the channel. If that is right, we are back with some more Hero Craft and last episode we cleared out this big room right here. Uh, this big room that we used our uh, beacon uh, to clear out. We also fought the Wither in the last episode, so it's pretty awesome. We got a lot of progress done in the last episode. Hopefully we can get a lot of progress done in this episode as well. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully we can get a lot of stuff done. But yeah, the last episode was pretty awesome. We got a lot of stuff done. And uh, yeah, it was a great way to uh, end off last episode. So hopefully we can have a great episode as well uh, in this episode. And uh, let's get started. Alrighty guys, so for today's episode, the first thing I want to do is actually get a railway system going in from this nether portal to the one back at our other base, and so we got to get a bunch of rails, and I think I already have a couple of them, where are they? Oh, they're in my inventory already, so I already have 64, I think I'll probably need a little bit more than that, maybe three stacks of rails, uh, I'm not really sure, so we are going to need... Uh, eight in each row for uh, making these rails. So I'd made all this iron out of our beacon uh, Because I took all the iron off of our beacon not all of it, uh, but some of it and then replaced it with emerald uh, But uh, that beacon won't be there uh, for the whole series. I'll probably be taking it down actually pretty soon Oh, I accidentally took out a little bit there But I'll probably be taking the beacon down because I don't really need it in this area for much longer so uh yeah, I'll probably be taking the beacon down, but I did take out a little bit of iron, as you guys saw at the beginning there, uh, for uh, uh, the uh, rails, and then I replaced it with the emerald. So uh, yeah, that was something I did that I forgot to mention uh, in the intro or whatever. But uh, yeah, we're going to head in through here, and I actually think there's a couple of items. Yeah, there was a couple of items waiting for me as I walked through. There should be gunpowder in there as well. Yeah, gunpowder was waiting as well. So I think I'll just probably place down all of these rails uh, until we get to our base. I'm not sure how many it's going to take, but we'll just place them down until we get to our other nether portal and uh, hopefully this is enough. If it's not, then I can always make some more. But uh, yeah, I'll just keep placing these down. Alrighty guys, so we actually ran out and we still have a bit of ways to go. We just got to the turn, so I guess we have to head back there. Uh, let's see how fast this is because there's no powered rails, but it still should take us all the way. At least I think it does. I'm not sure if minecarts do this still. Uh, but it should take me all the way even without the powered rails. I might put powered rails in the in the future, but this is still pretty fast, so I don't have to worry about it. And the nice thing about it is it doesn't actually use up any food. So that's uh, the thing I like about it. Now, I did not mean for the thing to go through that, so I guess I'm going to have to destroy that rail right there. Uh, but I did not mean for that to happen, so... Uh... I'll just take... Oh, and now the entity went into the nether. Well, that's kind of sad. But yeah, let's make a couple more here. Uh, sorry for the loud nether portal. Actually, I don't know if it's loud, because I do turn my game volume down when I record. So I really don't know uh, how loud it is for you guys. But uh, yeah, we can make a couple more rails here. So that's 32 more. And uh, that's basically all the iron I have, I think. Oh, nope, we have a bit more iron. Uh, so we can make a couple more rails. I think we'll probably need another two stacks, which is kind of crazy. Uh, but we'll see how many this gives us right here so that oh there we go perfect two stacks uh, I might make just a couple more actually uh, just to make sure I have enough so we can make uh, how many more is this another half a stack more uh, so there we go we got that so we use a ton of iron to make these hopefully it's well worth it now the reason why I'm doing this is because I uh, I think I mentioned it in the last episode I hate having to walk through it uh, and taking all the time to do it uh, walking through this nether portal and it also takes up a lot of food so I've actually I have apples with me today because I ran out of steak uh, actually what am I doing I can take the my card again but yeah I uh, have apples today because I ran out of steak from running through uh, this passage back and forth and back and forth and I will be uh, making this actually a lot prettier I know the uh, the recording program I use doesn't like work very well with uh, nether uh, what is this called uh, why can't I think of the name of it? Netherrack. Uh, it makes it look really fuzzy and everything. So I'm sorry about that, guys. Uh, but yeah, I'll probably make it something else in the future just to make it look a little bit better. But uh, I'm going to continue to place these rails down. And there we go. We have about 40, 50 left over. I think I'll probably place a block like right here maybe uh, to stop the, uh, the minecart or something like that. I don't really know. Uh, I never really planned out how I was going to like attach the two things like the portal uh, from here to there. And so it does look kind of weird because it only is a, a two block space that goes into here. So it's kind of weird, but uh, I guess I just didn't plan it out correctly. That's okay though. But I think I'm gonna actually head back to uh, the other base and then we'll move on with today's episode. 
Alrighty guys, so we have 32 levels and we're back down here in our enchanting room, so I think we're going to be doing that. And we're also going to be combining these pickaxes just so I can repair this one because I don't want to use diamonds to repair. I'll just use this crappy unbreaking three pickaxe that I'll never use ever again. But uh, we're going to enchant some books here. Hopefully we can get something good on the books. So uh, let's just put the books in there and then put the lapis in. What is on this one? Lure 2. I don't really want to take that, so we'll take sharpness. Uh, let's see what you can get on this one. Aqua Affinity. Actually, I kind of want Aqua Affinity, and it's really weird to take it for a level 30 enchant, but I think I'm going to take it. All right, yeah, we're definitely going to take it. I was not sure about it. I was actually going to see something else, uh, what I could get, but we're going to take the Aqua Affinity uh, just because I do not have Aqua Affinity on my Diamond Helmet, and I would love to put uh, Aqua Affinity on it. So, uh, yeah, we got Aqua Affinity, which is pretty cool. Now, uh, of course, level 30 enchants usually wouldn't it be aqua affinity but whatever it's whatever but uh, we do need to combine these pickaxes as well and i have a little bit of a fact to tell you guys about anvils because uh this one i don't think it's actually damaged right now but if you pick it up it automatically goes back to being a full anvil if you place it down so it's a bit of a duplication glitch right there uh but uh yeah i guess uh, they didn't really realize it. Actually, it might be fixed now that it, it, TU35 has come out. I'm not really sure because I haven't tested it out since TU35 came out. But uh, I got to figure out a spot for this anvil. I, I'll just put it back here. But yeah, when you damage it a little bit, because the anvils obviously get damaged, uh, it will repair itself. At least it did. So it might have been fixed actually in TU35, and I guess I haven't really been able to test that out. But uh, I guess I'll kill some of these zombies right here as well. But uh, we're going to move on to whatever else we're going to do in this episode. Alrighty, so of course we've been clearing out this room and working on this room for I think two episodes now and I really want to get this thing over and done with. Last episode I spent over two hours on clearing out this room when I thought it was only going to take me 20 minutes and it was because all of this uh, obsidian right here that we have but we are finally going to just get this room over and done with and I do have to clear out a ton more obsidian because obviously I have to put in the walls and everything and the ceiling and uh, the floor so a ton more obsidian is going to have to be broken and then I'm going to have to deal about lava if I want to put like woods up in the wall but we're just gonna have to worry about it i guess a little bit longer uh, until we finally finish it so i'm actually gonna put in um sorry about that guys i had a bit of a cough there but i'm actually gonna put in uh stone brick i think for the floor so it might not all be stone brick but right now it's going to be so i've got a ton of stone in here i'm gonna break the floor first and then i guess i'll catch you guys back once all of it's broken Alrighty, guys so this is the last piece of obsidian we have on this floor right here and actually the last block uh, that we have on the floor so we finally cleared out the floor here and I guess we just got to get putting in the stone brick and make it look all nice because this is definitely not a pretty picture Alrighty guys, so I placed in all of the stone brick and this is how it looks So it still looks uh, basically as ugly as it looked before I placed in the stone brick So I guess the walls need to be worked on as well And I don't really have a design uh, for the wall so I'm not really sure what I want to do uh, I have a couple of ideas. Uh, of course, I want it to stick with what we have kind of over here, but with the oak wood logs, I don't think we're going to be able to do that just because if I break this obsidian over here, pretty sure lava is going to start coming out. Yep, look at that. Just a ton of lava all over the place, and I accidentally misplaced that water right there. And now it's gone forever. I guess I got to go get a new water source. But uh, yeah, basically, it's going to be really hard to uh, put in a wooden wall if it's all going to keep on burning down. So I'll have to figure out a good design, and I guess I'll catch you guys back once I've got one. Whew. All right, guys. Well, a whole day has passed since the last time I uh, recorded the last segment for this episode. And if you could tell, I was pretty tired uh, during this episode of recording. Uh, I kept going, um, 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 because I was just really tired. It's hard for me to come up with words and everything. But now... I've had a night to sleep, rest it all off, and hopefully we can uh, bring this episode back uh, with a lot of excitement. But this is the design I came up with. Of course, it's not finished yet. Uh, I tried to put in leaves and everything like that. I ran out of leaves, though. We'll put a little bit more in the future. But what's really weird is these leaves are in a different biome. Like, these leaves are a little bit lighter than these ones over here, and it's really weird. But, uh, yeah, they're in a different biome, so the leaves look a bit different. But I will add more leaves to it to make it look nicer. I made all the ceiling stone and all the wall stone, and, of course, we made the sto uh, stone brick for the floor. But I am going to remove this beacon because it is really weird uh, where it's at. So I'm going to remove the beacon. I might put it down here. I'm not really sure. Or I might just remove it in general. So I'm going to remove that, and then I'll catch you guys back when I'm done. Alrighty, so we're finishing up clearing out the rest of this beacon here. Uh, I got all the stuff laying on the floor down there, so I better go and get it before it despawns. I accidentally placed water down, so a couple of the torches down there must have uh, broke. And I'm not sure if the water actually put down the uh, the nether portal over there, so I have to check that as well. But uh, let's just break down here. Oh, I tried to MLG water bucket, but it's just too late. 
I didn't couldn't switch to it fast enough. So let's see, was that? Yeah, okay, that torch goes there, and then this torch would go here, I believe. Uh, I'm not really sure because this torch is missing as well. Let's just collect all of this stuff uh, before it despawns. We'll do that, and then I think this torch would be right here. Yeah, that's, that's about right. I think that's good. Of course, I'll get rid of those torches in the future because they are pretty ugly uh, where they're at right now. But let's make sure we got all of the stuff from the uh, the thingy. Uh, actually, we're missing two blocks, I believe, because you should have a stack and or two stacks and 36. So I'm not sure. Oh, there they are. There we go. Now we have two stacks and 36. Uh, so there we go. We got all the blocks from our beacon. Alrighty guys, so for this room right here, right in the center, I want to have a really big tree. I'm not sure what we're going to call the tree, but we're going to have a really big tree right here in the center. It's going to look pretty cool, and so I want to build it myself manually, but I don't have any more leaves on me. Like I said, I don't have any more leaves on me, and I really don't feel like going back to the surface to go cut down some trees. So I did bring a couple of saplings down with me, only three of them. But we're just going to start planting trees. I also have bone meal, uh, so it should be a pretty quick process. But I'm going to try to get up to like five stacks probably of leaves so I can also finish the outside of this area. Uh, but once I do that, then I think I'll be pretty good to go. Uh, so uh, yeah, I'll get some leaves here as well as some wood. Uh, and then I guess I'll catch you guys back once I'm done. All right, so we have one tree left right here. So let's just break down the wood and then break the rest up with these shears. And I think we have about six stacks of leaves. I'm not really sure. I haven't really checked. So uh, we'll see how many we have. Uh, I did end up cutting down, I think, like six or seven trees. So uh, yeah, we'll see how many leaves we get from this. So let's open up our inventory. And it looks like we have five and almost a half stacks of leaves so that's pretty cool so i'm gonna get working on this tree i'm trying to think of a design i really want to do because i want to do one of those big uh trees i think a lot of you guys will know what i'm talking about but like a big uh kind of like a sequoia tree uh i don't really know one that's like really big i guess and majestic so i'll try to go for that type of look uh but uh i'm gonna probably look up an internet tutorial so if i find a really good one uh that i really like i'll probably link it in the description so uh yeah i'm just gonna get working on a good design for this tree and then i'll catch you guys back with a progress update Alrighty guys, a bit of a progress update. I think I like this. I'm not really sure. Not It's not the greatest, of course, because I'm not the best builder in the world, but it looks okay. I think it's acceptable, and uh, I kind of like it, and I have a couple of the roots going out here. So this is what we've got right now for, I'm going to call it the Tree of Wisdom. We're going to have our Tree of Wisdom right here. I'm not sure if that's copyrighted by anything. Is there such a thing as the Tree of Wisdom in anything? I'm not really sure. But uh, yeah, that's what we're going to call it for today. If you guys want to name what we're going to call this tree, then you can do that. But I'm also going to add some more leaves to the outside here. So we have about a stack of them. Uh, um, uh, I think we have a stack and a half, actually. I think I saw a little bit more. How many do we have? We have 47 more uh, right there. So I think I'm just going to add them randomly uh, throughout this uh, throughout this thing. So just jump up and try to place a couple of them. So uh, yeah, I'll do this until I like what I have. And then I'll show you guys it when I'm done. All right, well, there we have it. I finished placing in all the leaves there, and I think it looks pretty nice. I really like how this area is turning out. And the nice thing is this tree is not burning up, so that's always nice that there's no lava underneath it. But I really like this area. Uh, I'm trying to think of some other things that we can do to it uh, in this episode because I'm not sure how much time is left in this episode because, like I said, it has been two days of me recording this, and so I'm not sure how much time I've put into this episode. So I want to do at least one more thing before we end off the episode, and I think that's going to be me trying to uh, clear out a room for our chest storage that we're going to have down here. And the only problem is, I think if I break, yeah, there's obsidian behind here, and I really wanted to put the chest storage right here. So it's going to take a while for me to clear out this area. I'm going to try to do my best, though, to clear it all out. And hopefully I can get it done. I might do a little bit of uh, half of it this episode and then half of it the next episode. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to get working on this and I guess I'll show you guys what I, I've come up with. Alrighty guys, well I finally cleared out the room. Uh, I believe it is 9 by 21, I believe are the dimensions. And then I think it goes up 8 high. So that is the room I just cleared out. And I have over 4 stacks, almost 5 stacks of obsidian from just clearing out this area. So we have a ton of obsidian and we'll definitely be working with that maybe in the next episode or sometime in the near future. But uh, yeah, that is going to do it for this episode of HeroCraft. So uh, yeah, we did quite a bit. We ended up getting this room almost all the way done. There obviously will be a bit more added. I think I'll put up some fountains in the corner or something. But uh, and we also uh, cleared out the room over here for our chest storage. But that's going to do it for this episode of HeroCraft. So hopefully you guys did all enjoy. I'm almost out of apples, but I'm out for now. Peace.